Okay, friends. Please, one, two. Way with the Chicago River, building it to suit our needs as we tend to do. They immediately saw the great potential of this Chicago River, connected to that Displains Canal. It was after proposing that canal that Chicago got its um, Yeah, just make sure you smile and wave to, to the uh, to the left here, a little bit in front of us. Uh, there's that gray building. His marble. New sculptures such as David and others. And both leaning off the surface. As you may also imagine, tomorrow afternoon. For some reason, those two hours don't go off. Uh, but every other hour, if you're in the aisles of architecture, and reinvent them with your newly found straight off to our right, done by Adrian Smith of Skidmore Owings. Uh, but now, we'll see this uh, Chicago Tribune Tower come the flying buttresses at the top that the NBC Tower was paying tribute to to design the most beautiful office building in the world. Won $100,000 for their design. But surprisingly enough, the texture here. Now, yeah, but I'll get to that story on the way back down the river. Um, but yeah, we have the uh, the Wrigley Building here. It's done by Adrian Smith, Skidmore Owings, and Decoration One Cats. And if you go all the way to the tip of that spire, it's 1300. Now, yeah, but Trump's building has a few setbacks as you go up it. No setback by the Wrigley Building. The next setback and final of some 60 buildings the architect looped. Now, Ms. Vendor was known as the father of God is in the details. Very simplistic. And the beauty was supposed to be in the simplicity of it all. Mr. Bertrand Goldberg would listen to his teacher, but then go next door, known as the Marina City Towers. Bertrand Goldberg's the image of a machine. That building should reflect towers. Sort of a more complex appearance of that. A paradise for shut-ins, really. Now, but this is supposed to be the Goldberg not if he could provide all the modern amenities of a city within one day. Construction zone here. Uh, but eventually, be enough about uh, how Chicago got its name while we're waiting here. Uh, Chicago. And as they wandered away into the swamp, they emitted a pretty foul odor adorning its facade. This is the old Reed Burdock Warehouse, and it is done by 1930. They were brightening LaSalle's, the Chicago School of Architecture, a tripartite or three penthouse in the Capitol building. But now we are approaching since been surpassed by the Pentagon. Still is the largest building here in Chicago, though. It's a very large. Now, like it has over 4 million square city blocks. The post office thought the building was so big, they could art deco style the NBC Tower. A tribute letterman once referred to them as the Zooming here in the United States. Now, originally, that building was owned by Marshall Field of e. Kennedy of the famous political family. Would buy the But now we are here in a fairly historic of all the branches of the river. You have the main branch along the riverbanks where some of the first buildings popped up in the Chicago, which is kind of historic in our city's sense here. Now from what I hear, it is still fully functional. Still can go doze. I'm not sure why. Now but then, there, that's the old Fulton House. It's done by Frank Abbott. Old storage warehouse. It did not have any of the windows or anything involved with the Fulton House. Biggest mistake of his sculptures and balconies you see in it today. If you look into those balconies, now, but now we're approaching the Kinsey Street Bridge here. This is it, just sort of has its back turned towards us, not really paying any attention. Now, trying to embrace the river. Now, right across the way, every Chicago River has been hopelessly polluted. 1850s, back over this big, bustling port, they were dumping their oil as well as. Who knows what else in the river? Ecking Industries, capital to the world. And we ran if that wasn't bad enough. Chicago also had all of our cities. Not a very good idea. A lot of outbreaks of cholera, typhoid. Then getting our water there, being further out, it would be clean. The entire flow of this Chicago River. The need to pull the river the opposite direction. This was a canal. A whole lot of land dredged out that still flows the opposite direction. Our Lewis. Or not Sorry. Yeah, I'm actually following the lawsuit. It was shining down in these waters. It went up on its way to St. Louis. Yeah, this isn't really true. The river here lately, it was just like 15 years ago, the environmental to just hazardously polluted now. So, 
even though only a third of it is actually elevated, the Streak Bridge. Uh, but they actually run all the way down the South Branch. All this land for the railways, knowing the railways as your heart desired. And you can put your building in that is so as not to interrupt their flow. Yeah, but then setting your building on top of the set. It's going to be this Boeing World Head. And there is this smaller tower here, flanked by a shorter one, and a switching station. A bunch of train tracks coming together. Well, you hang it from above. Now, there is a system hanging it, the same idea as a diving board on a much larger scale. Up top there, and turn them on the way back down the river. Uh, but again, actually hanging that smaller structure that she was looming. Now, the original plan is actually, I guess, King Tut's tomb was discovered in the 20s. So everyone's going through this big... The first thing to go in their budget were the two giant air rights concept. It looks like an Amtrak train. If you don't get a really good look at Gateway 1, there's no need to worry. Right next is the Butler Brother Warehouses. Now, Gateway 1 and 2 were both in 1968. Both in this very modern. So, Skidmore, it's Owens, right. and Merrill decided they would do Gateway 3 out that modern school of architecture. Now, it doesn't fit in either because the stone cladding does make up its own school of architecture called the International School. We have this with really large X's on its frame to fit this formula close. Now, but now we have the final of the gateway series of, of architecture, the curve to the building, referencing the slight bend in the river here. Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill in 1983. No signs of roots whatsoever. I have no idea how that sort of jalopy of a building. Now, this actual old post office was the world's largest post office. Especially when traffic picks up. So you should go to the climb as our deep here. The old post office. It is. The approach as our deep here. Tends to get noisier on there. I take the opportunity to take a deep breath. Yeah. Full service bar. She will mix you up. Whatever your heart desires. So feel free. Catalog Industries. Capital to the world. Start of a Montgomery to accommodate all that incoming and outgoing mail. Much on tight, having to move the mail up the hill. So the building was nice and efficient. And then, now right next door, we get this new post office on the night of architects. And it does serve for here. And the post trucks can actually drive right through. Now, unfortunately, the first mail trucks that could roll through the entranceway and all the media. Design and the guy who gave it those shoes and the marshals. Uh, there's a low brown building, has one. Now that building stands in the exact location. And that building is Kirk Cow, around 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Uh, it's fairly dark out. Of course, this story isn't really true. Now, uh, the news picked at the time, so everything was just terribly dry here as well. Actually, crossing the Chicago River, now across the river a couple times, is just a big oily mess. And oil settles on the top of water. And a third of our population homeless. Over 100,000 casualties were at a minimum. And only around a spire on the top of their buildings. Now a say triangular section shooting up about 13 stories. And associates, the men I mentioned who seem to be obsessed with what it actually is. So again, a frame. They put those on a few years back. You could take a step out onto those. And public speaking. Now, could you imagine climbers, no safety harnesses whatsoever, walked up to the building, started climbing. Congo's finest. <laughs> yeah, he was arrested. For nine. Now, but the Sears Tower is done in a nine bundled tube, 75 by 75 foot building. The park can actually sway an average of like six inches in any direction. Two 40 story towers are flanking what used to be the central trade floor of designing 40,000 square feet of uninterrupted net trade floor all the way to settling and forward. So what they did was very slightly bowed outward, the two towers, like this full of straight. So any engineering feet there. Boeing World Headquarters, I mentioned, uh, again, actually hanging, that's with a V, I guess. Uh, we do nickname this building Insoles Throne. It was commissioned by man of the name Elsis in his heyday. Again, the building was commissioned a lot of money, as well as his opera building here. And instead of consult, who went to New York to try her hand at opera, back turned to New York. Uh, there's a similar story, building built this back turned to downtown office buildings here in Chicago. Place 1923, not nearly as thrilling. Said that only a quarter of your building could...
stands on a very historic site. Was the wigwam was put up. Now the wigwam ago, that was the Republican on a stage was nominated. It's known just by its address as 333 West Wackers and Fox Buildings. Now at 333 West Wackers, another post. Shades of green blanks reflecting the green of the river. The big curved vents near the base of the building. <laughs> On your first beer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> building and uh, postmodernism paying tribute to its location. Here you have alternating to the building, just meant to reflect portholes on a ship. Uh, this building is also thought to reflect great. Then uh, right next door, Tom Peterson Fox also knew this built some circular windows along the sides, reflecting portholes on a ship. Uh, when you decorate your building, ribbons. It seems like an odd decorating tool. Being tribute to your surroundings. And Chicago is actually known as counterbalanced. So it goes up and down an essential pivot point. This is what was known as the Builder's Building in the 1920s. It was renovated in the 1980s by Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. Next door we have the LaSalle Wacker Building. This is the 1923 city officials from Chicago is into a race of mold people. Now, but they did say the only quarter of your building could rise to its full height. Press it. Now, uh, right next door, there was going to be a 90-story building standing there. And in case you're wondering what a Greek temple might look like, if you're originally the R.R. Donnelly building, and then the eye turns black, close to the wind there. It's a pretty great view, ladies and gentlemen. And a couple doors open to just take a small piece of architecture, put it on a broader scale. Building with all columns there, starting the base. So just another idea in this post. Now, uh, if you look off in front of us, a champagne bottle. It was done by the Burnham Brothers back in the... They're said to have been missing their champagne bottles. It was originally the car to the ground level. Because coming up off to the right, we do a war memorial outside of Washington, D.C. Originally known as the Jewelers Building in 1926. Then I turned for the Jewelers Safety. So that building was actually designed with a car. Well, this safety came into question. When I learned that on the Chicago Gangster, the Mr. Al, the Jewelers down below, Bridge in honor of that very first. I understand we have this large Lake Michigan, but it's like called Pine Street. Now, but Pine Street ran along the original short canals, walls that the Illinois Michigan Canal. I have coming up off to our right and have a large triangular building, none other than Harry Weeks at my hotel establishment, I'm sure. It is clad in stone and it has very narrow windows. And uh, notice each floor plate is uniquely curved and shaped. It's supposed to look like the next. Abadonko was done by Jeannie Gang and Associates in 2009. It's the third. Well, uh, mentioned the uh, Chicago flag coming up here. Uh, we should. Flag there it has three white stripes. Now, uh, each white stripe represents a different side of our. Not much of an east side as we have that large lake. Okay. Two of them tragic, two triumphant. Now, the two tragic ones coming up off to our left. Uh, just on this side of Lakeshore Drive, you have a little. There's some rumors going around they might start up construction and a foundation will soon. What we have to do is dig down to you at the bedrock. Now, but if that spire does go up, uh, it's supposed to look like a plume of s Now, but they're going to get this effect by rotating each floor about two degrees off the floor beneath 29.4 miles of Chicago shoreline. Now,
Thank you. 